Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a large Talon Imperial Guard army, uh, which we completed for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, ben, one of the artists here, has had an absolute thrill working on this uh, classic old school metal model army. Uh, stick around, we're back in a second to have a look at it in more detail. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so I thought we'd start by taking a look at the characters' infantry and uh, the heavy weapons that are there at the back. Uh, so Great Force, as we said, it's an additional force, so the, there's a third party who's painted an initial force which Lawrence uh, acquired, and then uh, he's asked us to add a vast amounts to it, as you can see here. This is just all the infantry uh, and characters. So we'll pull forward a couple of them. This is uh, Commander Al Rahim. Uh, I believe he was the uh, one of the Talon sort of uh, named sort of captains or characters from back in the day in second edition. And as you can see here, really, really cool model, loads of great details on it. Nice plasma pistol there with the glow, got the lens on the on the top of the sight, all sort of highlighted and painted. Um, all the robes all done. His nice little power talwar, as you can see there. And uh, moving around, he's got some really really cool uh, sort of shades or sunglasses or goggles on there as well, with a nice sort of contrasting bright and dark green in there. Point the light source as well. And then you've got this really cool cape as well, as you can see with this blue sort of turquoise filigree or pattern. And uh, that blue turquoise can be seen across the force, and uh, is, is on pretty much all the models um, in the infantry side of the uh, the force. So that's just the um, Captain Al Rahim, uh, and then we'll pull forward one of the uh, lieutenants, as you can see here. Oh, here, let's get rid of that. Uh, and then, um, as you can see here, again, really, really cool pose, very stoic in nature. And uh, I think there was two versions of this lieutenant that were manufactured. One had like a complete eye visor, so it's right across the eyes, and the other one here, as you can see, has just got like a bionic eye, which is really cool. I didn't actually realise that, so I done a little bit of research on the, the range prior to doing the video. Uh, again, there, as you can see, just one of the lieutenants. And then, final sort of character is this Master of Ordnance that is a third third-party uh, sculpt or manufactured model again with a nice data slate there with all the sort of detail work and all the extra bits and bobs all sort of highlighted as you can see there the blue sash as well going around his waist to that corresponding sort of turquoisey color all the medals and everything picked out his eye face lenses so the eye bionic eye all detailed and highlighted there as you can see so that's just the three characters so we'll start putting forward some of the infantry and there are a lot to choose from so we'll start by looking at some of these uh, plasma guns here as you can see just get this to focus so you can have a look at that when it decides to focus, guys, apologies for that. There we go. Uh, again, really, really cool old school plasma gun there with a nice sort of vibrant green sort of plasma coil glow. Again, you've got all the sort of head sashes as well that are all sort of fully highlighted and contrasted there as well with all the eyes, faces, and all picked out as well, which is really nice. Lots and lots of chunky detail on them as well, which is really cool. You've got the water bottles and knives, some sort of um, sort of uh, pouches and things all sort of fully highlighted and picked out there, as you can see. That's just one of the plasma guns. Uh, pull forward a couple of the las guns here, so you can see. Again, really, really stoic. They're all very very much in state poses as well which is very fitting with the background of the Talon range and Talon force as well as you can see there so it's just another one of the las guns uh, again let's just pull forward uh, one of the melter guns from the back here so this is just one of the melters again as you can see look at that really really gurning face there as he's firing the melter gun got a nice sort of melter burn on the end of the barrel as well there and again the same consistent highlighting and detail work throughout on this force so that's just one of the melter gunners now um, obviously there's 60 infantry there and obviously the front you've got another 10 at the front so 70 infantry there and then we've got some of these heavier weapons so I'll just pull forward one here that I've uh, brought near to the camera rather than stretching over to the back as you can see there we're just one of the last cannons uh, and we've mounted the um, the two infantry men that go with the heavy weapon on a 60 mil base and uh, just obviously these are magnetized as well so you can change out the weapons uh, you just take the gun shield off it does come off and then uh, obviously just magnetize that back on so I've got an auto cannon here just so you can see that just magnetizes on again you just change the gun shield and uh, very much very flexible uh, additional heavy weapons for the force there as you can see uh, so that's just one of the heavy weapons Again, really cool visor across the eye as well. A nice transitional colour there, which is really cool. Uh, again, lots and lots of detail throughout the force. Really, really living up to the test of time of these old sculpts. Um, probably, I'd say, out of all different sort of regiments, uh, Talon are probably one of my favourite. I do like Mordians uh, a bit more, uh, and still Legion. But uh, yeah, Talon's a great force. And uh, next up, we've got some of the vehicles of this force, guys. So I do hope you can stick around and see that section. Uh, we're back in a sec.
So last up guys, we've got all of the Lehman Russes and uh, the Chimera and Sentinel from this Forced Armoured section of the uh, the video. And uh, we'll pull through these four just so you guys can have a quick look at them. Very much the same all over. So as you can see here, a lot of weathering and chipping and scratching all over just to really give them that battered, war-torn look that you'd expect from any sort of Imperial Guard tank. Uh, all the weapons are interchangeable throughout this force on the, the armoured and the tank. So you can change them around. The heavy bolters just do come out, as you can see there. Same on the uh, sponsons. So that's just the first one. Pull forward the next one just so you can have a look at all of these in a bit of a quick detail all the chipping and sort of scratches and things that have been put on there just to give them that sort of weathered and battered look uh, pull forward the vanquisher from the back here same again nice white stripe with the sort of transfers and bits of detail on there just distinguishing each tank in the squadron and again there as you can see the talon transfer put on there as well uh, so that's just the uh, vanquisher and pull forward the really cool running sentinel here so it's like bounding forward with the heavy flamer to incinerate someone as you can see a really nice sort of uh, dynamic pose on this as well sometimes sentinels look quite static and uh, ben's gone in and done a lovely job of making this one look like it's actually doing what it does best and re re sort of doing reconnaissance and moving forward and advancing uh, and that's what he's done with that one which is really cool same sort of chipping throughout there as well and then we've just got one of the chimeras here as you can see with all the lenses and everything all fully picked out uh, again same weathering as you can see this is a third party um, sort of uh, conversion aspect as well uh, that uh, was already on the original force and has been included on this edition from Lawrence and the guys at Tabletop Tactics that's just one of the chimeras uh, so yeah do hope you like that guys uh, really really cool army you don't get to see Talon armies very often we're going to finish up with an overview of the army again stick around coming up now see you guys back in a second hey guys so there we have it this awesome Talon edition force uh, which Ben has completed for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. I do hope you like this video and all the cool models that, that you've seen it. Uh, as always please like, please comment and please subscribe. We really appreciate it and like chatting to you guys in the comments here on YouTube and if you are interested in a commission then please head to our website, go onto the contact tab, fill out a contact form and send that through to us and we can get the ball rolling. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. See you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.